knowledge topic number one. Bodies go missing from Hindu graveyard in Bihar, pro border dash. Putin up, bodies missing from a Hindu graveyard have the police in Bihar's Purnia district on their toes. The graveyard in Rasikanj village is the only Hindu burial ground used by those who cannot afford to cremate the dead. We cannot afford the wood required to cremate our loved ones. So we started burying the dead here. It has since become a ritual, said Kandan Chaudhary, a local resident. When the villagers went for a burial on Thursday, they noticed the dug-up graves. We saw that many bodies had been exhumed. I could not see any human remains. Hair was scattered near a grave. It was scary, Kandan said. Another villager, Audrey Grasson, said this wasn't the first time bodies were missing from the area. Three graves were found open in the nearby Kasba village two years ago, he said. The police said an investigation has been launched. Crime facial evidence suggests the bodies may have been stolen for some tantric rituals or for bomb trafficking, said Deputy Superintendent of Police, Raj Kumar Shah. was underway. The flood situation continued to be grim with the Ganga flowing above danger mark at Guljan near Bhagalpur, while rivers Gagradar Alai, Kashi Baltara and Kashi flowing above the danger mark in Sawan, Kagaria and Kadir districts respectively. The state government has pressed into service 1,333 boats for rescue and relief works even as 6.41 people trapped in the flooded areas have been evacuated to safer places and 460 comps set up where 3.78 lock displaced people have been sheltered. 58 camps have been set up for sheltering cattle. A total of 224 medical teams have been deployed for treatment of the sick in the flood hit areas, the disaster management department release said. The state government has made arrangements for food and related materials comprising 7,551 quintal flattened rice, 1,333 quintal jaggery, 9.27 law cleaner kerosene oil, 54,955 quality sheets and 2.15 law food packets for distribution among the flood ravaged people. Topic number 3. Neighboring seats of Purnia and Kasba present a contrasting picture for BJP and Congress Purnia, it is a strange case for the very college not to party in Congress in the neighboring constituencies of Purnia and Kasba. While the BJP is sitting pretty in Purnia, which has seen its candidate winning twice since 1995, it is facing an uphill battle in Kasba. In both the seats the main fight is with the Congress. Purnia has more than 40% voters belonging to the Marwari and Bania community which makes it a same seat for the BJP and the party is banking on liquid. 
Jacob Aaron find Jacob Mark Hancock, who is contesting his first election. The Congress has put up its district president in Dusen, who is also making her electoral debut, and the fight many say got over even before it began. But Sinha is banking on the votes of both the Rashtriya Street and Janata Dal and Janata Dal United to see her through. In the 2010 assembly elections, BJP is launching a shortcut summary that defeated Congress Canada prematurely Yaka by a margin of over 15,500 votes. Kishori was later murdered by a woman in 2011 who had alleged that he had raped her on several occasions. His wife Karen Davey won the seat in a by-election but the BP denied her the ticket this time. It was way back in 1969 that Congress had won in Purnia when Kamaldio Narayan Sinha bagged the seat. But it still commands a loyal vote bank and after joining hands with RJD and JDU is hopeful of reversing its losing streak. BJP leaders, however, dismiss any upset in Purnia. They say that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's rally in Purnia on November 2nd will only help in increasing the victory margin as BJP's win is a foregone conclusion. But the major headache for the Congress is the presence of several candidates who were in the party in the past, in the fray. The most prominent rebel is Ram Churter Yadav, who has tried his luck from the seat unsuccessfully thrice. Yadav is in the fray as an independent candidate and hopes to be fourth time lucky. Knowledge topic number 4. Bihar polls, Rs 46.74 lot unaccounted cash seized, 708 non-available warrants executed calling. Putna carrying out the sustained drive to prevent use of money power in the forthcoming assembly polls and Bihar. The authorities have seized Rs 46.70 lakh accounted cash from various districts in the past 24 hours, according to a release issued by the Chief Electoral Officer, CPL, on Wednesday. While Rs 23.15 lakh unaccounted cash was seized from Saran District, nearly Rs 12 lakh was seized from the Burnia District. The release said, adding Rs 9 lakh was confiscated in Munger District followed by 1.65 lakh from Malrangabad District and Rs 98,900 from Baishli District. With regard to enforcement of model code of conduct, MCC, eight cases were registered for defacement in public property, while five cases were lodged in connection with misuse of vehicle. One case was lodged for violation of loudspeaker act and three cases were related to illegal meeting, speech. Other cases registered as per enforcement of MCC stood at 24, the release said. On the law and order front, the police seized 10 arms, weapons and 26 cartridges, while one illegal arms manufacturing unit was lost in a seizure of related materials made from there, it said adding. 87 licensed arms were verified and 735 licensed arms deposited. The licenses of two dozen arms were cancelled and 708 non-bailable warrants executed, it said. During raids against liquor, the police seized 7,432 litre country made in foreign liquor, besides 4,580 kilograms of ganja was seized from Saharsa district, the release added. Topic number 5. Heavy storm kills 32 people, injures over 80 in three Bihar districts colon. Putna, at least 32 people were killed and over 80 injured after heavy thunderstorm hit three Bihar districts of on Tuesday night. The casualties and damages due to the storm have been reported from several villages of Purnia, Bhagalpur and Madhapura districts. 32 people are dead and over 80 injured in a late night storm in three Bihar districts. Principal Secretary to Disaster Management Department Sri Bias Chief IAS said. Bihar Chief Minister Nidish Kumar on Wednesday assured all help to the affected people. I will personally take stock of the situation. I have instructions.
instructed collector to make a list and mention the extent of crop damage. Tomorrow announced and be our assembly. We are trying to estimate the damage. Right now the emphasis is to provide disaster relief to the affected population, as well as restore communication.